here coming to you with another one of my awakenings on my journey as a, a spiritual coach, heart-centered coach. Quite a journey has been, I have to say. It's been quite healing. Uh, for me, I have really like peeled so many layers of my own conditioning on this journey that my heart just sings, uh, thinking of where I have come from, right? Uh, so one of the awakenings that I have had on this journey has been the more people I encounter, the more people my, my I work touch the more it really impacts me the more it impacts my energy the more uh, awakenings right the more my brain stretches and so on and so forth one of the things I have come to see is super vital and super important when it comes to growing uh, business is to have a cycle of people and ever like one of my coaches calls it like an ever-ending uh, cycle of clients in a business what does that mean uh, that means that at any given moment uh, when you are running your coaching business you have to be able to say to yourself and to know for sure that at any given moment there are people in your audience that are ready to buy right now right there are certain specific things that need to happen for you to actually have that happening in your community have that happening from your email list and stuff like that uh, because here's how it works right this has been really eye-opening for me once I really realized this is that uh, certain people come into your community come into contact with uh, uh, the content that you share right certain people I've had people buy like 10k things from me uh, within like a week uh, from uh, a week of uh, really encountering my content but most people most people when they encounter uh, your content when they encounter your video or like something that you have written a lot of the times so the first thing that happens is that it raises like oh that sounds interesting oh that looks interesting let me check her out right a lot of the times people may take a little bit of time before they buy from you sometimes they may take a week right sometimes they may take two months or three months five months sometimes and I've had people who have been in my audience for maybe three years before they bought anything from me sometimes I like I see people or I, I like I get people into uh, my programs and then they say, oh, I've been following you for three years now, for four years now. And I didn't even know they were in my audience, all right? The fact of the matter is, at any given moment in my business now, right, I can go out and I know that there are people that are actually waiting for my next offer. What is she going to offer? Uh, sell a next so that I can buy, right? Things that need to happen for that to happen for you in your audience uh, is number one, you have to create... Uh, uh, an audience you have to create a community for me it's my Facebook group it's also on uh, my following on Instagram it's also my email list and so on and so forth I love my Facebook group uh, a lot uh, because there there's like immediate interaction right uh, you can have Instagram also like especially in my stories I can have immediate interaction with my audience and stuff like that uh, and then I get to share myself I get to share content i get to share my heart or with my audience i get to share what's happening in my business i get to share my awakenings i get to share all uh, processes that i have used to go from point a to point b i get to nurture i get to share tips i get to really show right how to go from point a to point b uh to a lot of people that are trying to create the things that i am creating in my business uh, a lot of the times i'll share things and they'll have their own experience and then because they have had uh, results from maybe some things free that I have shared, it gives them confidence that, oh, the HESA can help them, right? Uh, and then they, the, the wheels start turning in, in their mind and going, oh, I want to, you know, I want to buy uh, what she has to offer next. Or like, I'm really looking, I'm really thinking about uh, making an offer next, right? And so the point that I'm trying to make here is that... Uh, a lot of the times, uh, and I have been there too uh, at the beginning, especially at the beginning, I used to think one particular post or one particular thing is going to be the one thing uh, that uh, makes us like a certain sale. Or I expect when I make a post that this is what's going to get people buying and so on and so forth. But in fact, it's a combination of everything, right? It's a combination of everything that I've been doing. It's a combination of like growing the or 
warriors, growing my community. It's a combination of nurturing that community. It's a combination of making posts that really inspire. Like sometimes it's a two, two sentence post that can inspire something to say that will trigger the sales. Like, okay. Like I've had people reach out to me like that, like oh, that, like two sentences that you said, that's the one thing that made me say, okay, this is it, I'm going to work with you. You know what I mean? So uh, it is very, very, this is something that I have seen. So if you're not growing your audience, if you literally, right, then you end up having the exact same people who, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it, the cycle doesn't continue. That's the point I'm trying to make, right? The cycle doesn't continue and you keep selling to the same people over and over and over again. Uh, for me, it's been, and I have known this even from the beginning, that it was very, very important to continue uh, growing my audience. And how do I do that? Uh, I've uh, like organically the organic way that I do it is uh, uh, on my Instagram for example I use lots of hashtag I've had a ton of people follow me from Instagram and buy from me uh, from following me from Instagram uh, and uh, on Facebook also on my on my profile that happened also uh, from my Facebook page of course that happens also uh, from growing my audience one of the ways that one of the most powerful and fastest ways that I have utilized to grow my email list has been running Facebook ads Facebook Instagram ads right and so how I've done it is I was really, really zeroed in on like a powerful, super powerful opt-in, right? Or several opt-ins that work very well for me, uh, which means my ads convert very, very well. Uh, even like the experts, and everybody says, oh, I can't believe your ads. I've spoken with uh, a Facebook ads representative themselves from Facebook, and they'll be like, I can't believe your ads are converting so well. Like uh, one of them said, I've never seen anything like this so it's like when you and the reason why it's happening and it has happened was because I really zeroed in on like a, a powerful opt-in that inspires people that catches people's attention and it's been working for me uh, from like four years ago up until now and I switch it up every now and then but yeah they convert very well so uh, these are the things that I do right I grow my audience I found a way to grow my audience continuously every single day people people are discovering my content for the first time uh, every single day I'm nurturing right almost every single day sometimes it, it's automated uh, another way I'm doing it now by the way is also YouTube right so every single day people are discovering what I do people are coming in contact with uh, my work and getting nurtured uh, by what I do right like doing some of the things that I share practicing it for themselves getting them to say to themselves oh my god I trust what she's saying because I did XYZ that she said and it worked for me and I'm ready to take the next step uh, with her so that's how you can do it powerfully but everybody starts somewhere Right, so you have to decide and become very clear have a map in your mind of where you want to go right and then know from step one what's the next thing that I need to do what's the next thing that I need to do what's the next thing that I need to do right for me the way that I did it even within the first few weeks of uh, starting of uh, this particular business my like initial plan was let me invest a little bit of money at the time it was five dollars a day five dollars a day times 30 days that's like $150 a day uh, and I was like how do I get results from this at first I got like I spent $150 uh, in a month and got a return of $300 and I was like, oh, okay this this works right uh, for me it has been very super powerful uh, and uh, I wanted to share that with you today see you in the next video bye <laughs>